Hey, hi everyone. Uh, welcome to Bland Experimental Farm. I'm Steve Carroll, uh, recently retired uh, from Blandy as the uh, uh, Director of Public Programs. And I'm here tonight with my wife Cheryl, with Tim Farmer, Public Relations Coordinator here, and Robin Cardillo, who is the Director of the Foundation of the State Arboretum. We are here to look for fireflies. Uh, we wish you were here with us. Uh, and some of you may have come to our uh, firefly festivals in years past. Uh, look for that to happen again next year. Unfortunately, uh, we had to cancel uh, this summer as uh, we had to uh, cancel so many things. Uh, but um, I'm already seeing fireflies around us as I stand here. And uh, we're going to oh, uh, talk a little bit about what they are, what they do, uh, why they uh, even produce light, and as things start to darken up, we'll, I hope, see large numbers uh, flying. Uh, we've got two main species here. Uh, we'll see at least one of them, um, and we'll, uh, we'll at least get a chance to talk about the two. So we're here uh, to look for fireflies. I've got my net here ready. Uh, we'll, we'll catch them later. Um, and. Um, you know, I call them fireflies. Some people like to call them um, lightning bugs. Uh, and the, the uh, funny thing is that they're not flies and they're not bugs, they're beetles. Uh, and um, they're, they're closer related to what you might know as click beetles. Uh, so um, we'll see them in their adult form flying. But uh, if you think back to your uh, your biology classes, you remember that some insects have four life, cycle, life stages, an egg, a larva, an adult, a pupa, and an adult. And uh, fireflies go through those four stages. And uh, the, the cool thing about uh, this group is that uh, all four stages can glow. So all fireflies uh, produce light as larvae. Um, most of them, many of them produce them as adults, but not all. Um, so we're, we'll be looking at uh, the adult stage here tonight, and we'll see them as they light up. So uh, they're starting to come out. I'm crouched down here so we can maybe uh, see a little bit uh, of the uh, lighting behind, uh, behind me. Um, and, and that kind of raises a question, what's this? light all about? Why, why do they flash? And um, the, the females will tend to sit down on the vegetation, down in the grass, and it's the males mostly that you see flying around. The males are up uh, flying and flashing, trying to attract the attention of the females. And if a female sees uh, a light display that uh, appeals to her, she, she will flash a signal from the grass and the male will then uh, zero in and, and find its way to where she is. So uh, the, the lighting is all a means of uh, communication between the males and the females. The, the thinking is that the the ability to produce light probably started with the larvae uh, and they hatch from eggs in the soil and feed on earthworms and slugs and snails. Um, and it's thought that they were flashing as a means of signaling that they are distasteful because they do have some nasty chemicals in them and that might discourage predators from feeding on them. And then um, the idea is that it's possible that the adults co-opted that ability and now uh, it's used uh, as, a, as a means not only of showing that uh, I'm distasteful, but also uh, what, what we know now as a way for the males and females to communicate. The uh, fireflies we're mostly seeing here are the Big Dipper fireflies. Like I said, there's another species in a different genus and um, it's, uh, it's got an interesting story. The females of that species will sit down in the grass 
and will give a flash that looks like the female flash of the Big Dippers. So the Big Dipper males, who are the ones flying around, will see that. They'll come in toward that female, expecting it to be um, a female of its own species, uh, thinking that, ah, I found myself a, a partner. Uh, but that, uh, that uh, female in the, in the grass is actually a, a carnivore, a predator, and it lures the uh, males in, not for mating purposes, but as a meal. So they'll feed on, the, on that species, and it's not even that they need the protein necessarily. Uh, they want uh, or they're getting the uh, distasteful chemicals that uh, will give them protection from their own predators. So that second species is sometimes referred to as a femme fatale uh, because the females sit in the grass and lure in the males uh, for their own purposes. Uh, and uh, that may be the, the last female that that male ever approaches. So those will come out a little bit later and they will tend to have a greener, steadier light, except that they can mimic the light of our Big Dipper species as a, as a way to, to draw in the males. So in, in this uh, sequence, you can, you're looking at the underside. That's a male, and that uh, the, the tip of the um, underside that, that looks uh, yellowish, that's uh, the organ. Uh, where the light is produced. So um, it's larger in the male and that's why we know that one is a male. So before we uh, sign off, I just want to make one more uh, uh, observation and that is that, uh, you know, everyone loves fireflies. Uh, they're what sometimes is called a charismatic species. They attract so much attention, uh, but they're also in some trouble. Uh, and there are a few things that are causing problems. One is that we keep adding more and more light to our environment. So light pollution is a real problem uh, because it can disrupt the behavior of the fireflies. Uh, and, and I'll point out that um, uh, uh, University of Virginia a graduate student, Ariel Firebaugh, uh, did her research here at Blandy uh, looking at uh, light pollution effects on fireflies, and she worked with uh, Blandy faculty member Kyle Haynes. Uh, so, so there's some really uh, interesting work being done here at Blandy. So light pollution is a problem. Uh, use of pesticides and overuse of pesticides is a problem for fireflies, as it is with so many other uh, insects and, and other organisms. And then habitat loss and habitat fragmentation is a problem. You know, one nice thing about Blandy is the habitat is, is wonderful for fireflies. And if you get a chance uh, in the future, we're open dawn to dusk and uh, you can uh, come and, uh, and have a look at uh, the populations that we have here. They've been a little slow getting started this year, probably because of the cool spring we had. But, uh, I, you know, thanks for joining us tonight. It was great to be out here at this time of the, of the evening. Uh, we saw some fireflies, maybe not as many as in previous years. But look uh, next summer for the Firefly Festival and, and all the other wonderful programs and events that, that happen here. Thanks for joining us tonight.